Hello friends, welcome back to our Linux tutorial series. In today's video, we will devel into a temp directory a special location of the Linux file system. Have you ever wondered what makes that slash tmp directory as a unique and how it's different from the other directories? So let's see. So first let's discuss introduction of slash tmp. The slash tmp directory is a directory in a Linux file system serve as a designated location or temporary file system. It plays a crucial role in various file system operations, allowing program and utility to create and access temporary files in a temporary file and directories. Okay. So we'll go inside the slash tmp, cd slash tmp, and we'll do ls. Okay. This file system contains the directories, file system, files, and for the temporary. Okay. This is not persistent storage. This is the temporary storage that hold the file for a temporary and for a particular duration after that file will get delete that duration could be 10 days or after reboot one of the distinct feature of the temp directory is it automatically clean up okay you don't have to delete after 10 days 20 days when data is not in use it will delete all the files with this consuming save this space but it's not like that if this monitoring okay if you are putting 100 GB data today itself, so file system will get full. It will not delete. It is deleting the data after a certain period, which is defined in the system. And the special aspect of time directory is that uh, shared nature. Multiple users and processes can simultaneously access and utilize the temp directory for their temporary storage. This needs this shared access facility, inter-process communication and collaboration with the system. Security reasons as uh, temp directory is accessible for multiple users and processes. It is essential to consider that security implies since the file is slash tmp, the typically temporary file, not be the uh, protected file which you want having restricted file permission or sensitive data that should not be placed in a slash tmp. Temporary directory is for putting the data for temporary purpose. In the permission of this directory, lsf ld if you do, you'll be able to see special character t. We'll talk about this, but if you see, everyone is having read, write, execute, read, write, execute, read, write, execute permission. So that's make that permission allow you to read, write, and execute files within this. Okay. And enable streamless collaboration and ensure the various process can utilize the directory. And this make it more vulnerable that you should not put the sensitive data. Due to this transit nature, it's crucial to periodically monitor the disk uses with the temp directory. Unnecessary large files should not consume the slash temp and other process and system will not able to put their file so that should not be case you should put the proper monitoring now we'll see lsf and l so these many files are present here we are in pwd directory if we are in slash temp directory okay but how we are saying it is getting delete after 10 days 20 days where is that system defined for that you can do this is a file cat slash usr lib temp files dot d and under that temp dot conf if you open this file, you will be able to see slash tmp, permission is 1777, root root and 10d. That means within 10 days, data will get deleted. One more thing, in this file we have mentioned exclude name space mount point. Okay, that is slash tmp system dot private, system d dot private. In where temp also we are having. So this system d private file system is not getting deleted. We are considering Amit, DNFs, shadow and test file. So in this file, you can exclude the thing you want to exclude it and you can change the timing. Okay. So we are discussing the slash TMP directory. So the TMP directory in a Linux hold a special place within the file system that automatically clean up shared access and transit nature. Make it valuable resources for the temporary file storage and inter-process communication. So there's a special permission in slash temp. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, do like, share and subscribe to our channel and more Linux tutorial. If you have any question and suggestion, please leave them in the comment section. Stay tuned for more Linux insight. Happy learning. In the next video, till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.